doing it. <laughs> he actually told me to do it. <laughs> Good question. <laughs> Do you uh, want to touch that, Mary? Well, I already did health care. I think you can take war and terrorism. <laughs> I, I mean, it, it, the, the nub of what you're saying is, is that people use their, their media status uh, to, to make people aware of things, or do you, or, or what you're saying is take work that, that is as vital and uh, crucial and important as Battlestar Galactica. I had no idea that Battlestar Galactica was going to be what it is, what it ended up being at the beginning when I took the role on. I knew it would be something because of the people that are involved. I had no idea Battlestar Galactica would end up uh, consuming five years of my life and in actual fact changing my life in, in, in a huge way. We are always running the risk of that and, and kind of hoping that when we, when we go to theater school, that, that we're, we all go to theater school and come out and, and go to work only doing things that are important. Uh, and uh, because we have control of things when we first leave theater school because we go and create theaters in new plays. Uh, in, but in, once you hit the, the you get to start getting in, involved in the film and, and television market, you really don't have much control over, over what you do uh, until you get a profile and if you... So that's a tricky, tricky, tricky uh, thing to say, yes, this is... You know, I'm only going to do this. That Once you get to the stature of people like Edward James Olmos or Mary McDonald or Michael Reimer and Ron Moores of the world, but the actors of the world that hit a certain profile, they can choose to do this. And uh, that's why when I heard about Battlestar Galactica, and you get people like Mary or, I mean, look at Mary's resume pre-Battlestar Galactica. It, it, it just says she doesn't do uh, things that shouldn't be done. It, the, the resume is incredible. And the same with Edward James almost. But they have, they, at that point in their careers, they, they have the choice to do that. The majority of us, you, 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 that's not as easy as that. So it would be great to say, oh yes, I'm only going to do things like Battlestar Galactica from here on in. That's not an easy thing. I did my first audition in Los Angeles and I got the gig! Yeah. Yeah. Well, that, you know, Dollhouse. Does Dollhouse say things as, as important as Battlestar Galactica? Uh, who knows? I mean, so, if, so I don't have as much control as someone like Mary does. And I'm not saying, ooh, I don't, she does. I'm saying that's an actual fact. Yeah, but you have a job. <laughs> Ooh, no, I don't. I've already shot it. <laughs> um, I'm only kidding. I'll, I'll just ask, answer to just quickly because uh, I think Michael's right. It, there is a. It's about you know. There's a certain point in your career, I think, where you you try to at least make that vow to be involved in things that continue to be relevant. But I think part of what, that's what you're talking about, relevancy, and I think Michael's had a very relevant career as well. There are certain actors and certain kind of personalities that are drawn to certain material because it is connected to the culture and it's relevant. I don't think that I'd be any good in material that isn't relevant. I haven't been. I have done some things that I shouldn't have done, and you're, it's almost like your talent doesn't fire up unless you feel like you're in some kind of conversation. So I guess the key is looking for those and, and, and trying to talk about them more and push it maybe a little bit, and, and, and hopefully we'll get those. We'll help create them. Yeah, thank you.